Welcome back guys to the Koi Pond Experience. In this video, we're gonna do an unboxing and a review of this item. It is a submersible pump from the brand Sequest, model 2200. So a lot of people has been requesting that I do a test of this submersible pump. So here we go guys. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh wait, <laughs> I forgot. I need to show you the specs first. For model 2200, power requirement to run this is 25 watts and it has an output flow of 2200 liters per hour so let's go let's go ahead and open it here's the main pump so the specs it's just the same as what I read earlier 2,200 liters per hour flow rate and power consumption is rated at 25 watts right there so check out the unit we stuck this at the side of the aquarium position it like that on the glass of the aquarium and then we install this inverted cone screen cover there like that if you want to use this small tubing here it's for the venturi effect you install this silicone hose this one and then make sure this other end stays above the water level so that will cause the venturi effect but if you don't want to use it you can just cover it here like that so this is used to regulate the flow of water turn it that way so it will basically almost close the water outlet if you turn it this way parallel to this water output tube then it will be fully open if this were me I just position it this way fully open however though if you don't want any of the complication of this Venturi option, of this additional water flow outlet, you can swap this whole assembly. Just we'll remove it. Just turn it. Yeah. Align this slot here. This one. See it? There. Align it to that indention so you can remove this one slowly. Here, I'll remove it. The stainless rod will come with it, and you have to remove this one carefully. Carefully, this rubber bushing will also come with the stainless. So now this one's free, you set it aside, and you bring back this one, this basic assembly without the complications insert the rubber bushing here there and just install it back slowly like that just make sure the slot will fit the indention here and then twist there Let's put the inverted cone screen cover there and then the spiral blue hose here. So how does this happen? Water will basically come in here on your water inlet. Of course it has a screen cover so that fishes will not be sucked in and then water will come out here on the water outlet running through the spiral hose and then on the other end of the spiral hose it will drop on your uh, overhead top filter the water will come out here to your overhead top filter so that's basically it wait up guys I forgot about this item so this one you connect it on the water outlet just like that there okay, there so sometimes, people buy a power head to be used as a wave maker. So this is basically the setup of a wave maker. 
water comes here on your water inlet and comes out here on the water outlet and you can direct the direction of the water flow in this position it will just flow straight out or you can direct it downwards water will flow downwards there or position it again straight water outflow you go straight or move it again like that and water will flow towards me see so that's basically what the wave maker does right to move the water so there that is what this item is for by the way guys this bracket here is also removable however though it just doesn't sound nice when you try to remove it there I really hate that sound okay, there so that's how you remove the brackets this piece of line here is the one that's touching these grids here that's the one making the sounds <laughs> let's put it back ah so there it is that is basically it guys for the sequest 2200 right now the next thing we're gonna do is to do our test we're about to do our test so you can see the pump is running you can check it and the drum by the way if you want me to make more videos like this please comment below click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available so we're about to start guys starting in three two and go So this blue hose here is the spiral hose that comes with the box of this power head from Sequest model 2200. And this white drum that we're filling up has a volume capacity of 40 liters. And check out our power monitor. Right now it's showing us a reading of 25.9 watts. According to the box, this pump is supposed to have a power output of 25 watts. So, very near guys, acceptable. This is awesome from Sequest 2200. So you can check the drum, we are almost halfway through. Power monitor still showing us a 26 watch reading. So this is really good for the Sequest 2200 guys. So the pump is here, it's quiet, you can check it. We are about to stop guys, stopping in 3, 2, and stop, there, 
that's our time for our first test three minutes and six seconds guys for the sequest 2200 are you ready guys check the drum show them okay position we are starting in three two and go yeah there so this hose is 130 centimeters long with an inner diameter of 18 millimeters there. the drum again has a volume capacity of 40 liters check out our power meter guys our power monitor I mean it's showing us a reading of 33.7 watts right now it's probably higher because of the hose that we're using it's not supposed to be used here on the Sequest 2200 but just as an experiment we're using it okay Using the standard spiral hose a while back, this hose, we had a reading of just 26 watts. Box indicates that this pump runs on 25 watts. So 26 watts is really good, guys. So check the drum. We're almost done. It's really faster with the bigger hose. Okay, we're about to stop, guys. Position. Stopping in three, two, and stop. Yeah. There. <laughs> That's our time. One minute twenty-eight seconds. And power monitor showing us now a thirty-two watts reading. Check the pump guys with this massive hose. There. Just gonna pull it away. I'm gonna explain something to you. You can use this bigger hose for your setup, but make sure that the distance that this hose will be running will be very short. At most, I'd recommend a distance of one feet from the pump to your overhead top filter. In that way, the pump will not be burdened with the weight of the water that it had to carry from the pump to your uh, overhead top filter. I hope you got that. That's a wrap for this video guys, for the Sequest 2200. To cut the story short, this pump is better than the Aquaspeed A2000, it's better than the Aquaspeed A3000, and it's better than the Venus Aqua V1000. I really appreciate the fact that it performed well during our test, because this pump model is so old and has served so many users so well. I highly recommend the Sequest 2200, so go ahead. Buy it with confidence. If you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. Let me know what you think about this video guys. I'd really love to get your comments. And if you've not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the Koi Pond Experience. I really appreciate it and it'll keep you updated on new practical fish keeping ideas that I will be uploading in the coming days. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video.